United States of America. Who knows where that is? Huh? <laughs> it's in another country over the seas. All right. I'm going to let Catherine tell you who she is and why she's here today. Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Gogo. And to tell you how far I came from, I spent 24 hours in the air, in the airplane. 24 hours. That's one whole day and one whole night. That's how far away California is. Um, I came today to share my dolls with you. I made dolls for you that I have brought to share. I want to tell you um, what my granddaughter did when her doll arrived. She named it Apple Juice. Don't you think that's a wonderful name? Apple Juice. <laughs> I love that name. And I named my doll a Promise. This is the doll I brought to, that I made. And her name is Promise. And uh, here's her heart, her big heart over here. Will your doll have a big heart? I hope so, and you'll share your open heart with your doll. This doll's name is Promise. And on, she's, you see she's carrying a hanky? And on the back side of the doll, it says, do not make me lie or cry. My body belongs to me, not we. That's one of the dolls that I made to bring to you today. And her name is Promise. You know, dolls help us to love ourselves. They really do. They help us to, to love ourselves and to know our own beauty, to discover our selfhood. And dolls help us to spread love to other people, too. They do. For loving is the most important thing you will ever do. Will you say that with me? Loving is the most important thing I will ever do. Throughout the world, throughout the world, who is there like me? Who is like me? I can touch the sky. I can touch the sky indeed. Okay, back up a little bit so you have a little space. Yeah. Throughout the world, who is there like me? Who is like me? Nobody. I can touch the sky. I can touch the sky indeed. Okay, you know it one more time. And I begin with a, a chart that says I am and I can. And I'd like, to, I'd like to read with you. I am breath. I am creative. I am beauty. I am becoming. Yeah, selfhood is a process, isn't it? We build it as we go. I am becoming, I am unique, I am light, I am powerful, I am truthful, I am aware, I am loving, I am imaginative, I am peace, I am open, I am worthy, I am sensitive, I am whole, and free, <coughs> and forgiving. I'll tell you an exercise to do with forgiving some of you that work with, with older mm -hmm. uh, children. I cut up, the, well, I write the word forgiveness on a piece of paper, big capital letters with space around each one, big letters. And then I tear them up, you know, separating each letter from the other. And then I put them together in a pouch and give them to students, or I have them do that process. And then I ask them to put it back together like a puzzle to, to help them understand what the act of forgiveness is, the act of piecing back together what has been broken.
Real power gives us purpose. So we need to choose our words wisely when we go through life. Our actions and our words build our selfhood. I would like to have you talk to me about the alphabet, about the selfhood alphabet. Talk to me about the alphabet, about the selfhood alphabet, about the selfhood alphabet. I have wonderful beaded letters that were made by uh, an artist here in South Africa, and the artist's name was Rivers. That was a beautiful word that could have been chosen by Phileas Rivers. A as in Africa. We have to begin that way, don't we? A as in Africa. A as in accountability. You were here right on time today. That is being accountable, isn't it? A as in accountability. A as in affirmation. Every flower, every soul, Alice Walker says, every soul is meant to be cherished. Every flower is to bloom. That's an affirmation. Say it with me. Every soul is meant to be cherished, just like the song we heard. And every flower is meant to bloom. Who is there like me? Okay, move around. Throughout the world, who is there like me? I can touch the sky. I can touch the sky indeed. That should be a part of your repertoire. So you say it many, many times a week. Tell us something about it, too, when you reiterate, I am. Tell us something. Expound on it. I am, for instance, what would age? I am hopeful. I am hopeful, that's mm -hmm. We all are special in God's eyes. And um, we sometimes just miss the mark and we lose ourselves not knowing that we are special. And especially we children is concerned. They need to know that they are special and they need to know that they, they must reach out to others as well and to bring the best, it brings the best out of you when you know you are special. And I just think that we're all different and we have to be so tolerant of each other and also to realize that everyone is on their own journey at some point, I'm not sure, but that people can't judge other people because they have no idea what journey that yeah, person is on right, or yeah. where they are in their journey. So just tolerance. And also to be dreamful, because I think mm -hmm. even if a child's going through a tough time, or an adult, everyone, if they have a dream to focus on running, it, it makes it a lot easier to get through that, that hard place. And yeah, it just really it gives you the motivation to carry on trooping when everything seems to be against you. And that's where you see of dolls is very valuable. You bring, you know, a, this is Miracle, and Miracle just just came to Cape Town, and she's she's feeling really um, alone, and um, she's just come to our school, and she's kind of nervous inside. Do you remember how you felt on the first day of school? That's how she's feeling right now. What are some of the things that that you can do to help her? Now that's a, one way of using a doll. Another way is, um, do you know what happened to Miracle? Do you just know? She was walking along, putting her feet down in the ground in, in rhythm with her spelling words. E M P O W E R. Do it with your feet with me. E M P O W E R. E M P O W E R. When all of a sudden. Now, do I have every child's attention? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now I insert what needs to be addressed. I've changed all the facts and the figures, and so it doesn't doesn't remind them of what Joni did today. But I've addressed something that needs addressing in the classroom. So the doll can function in so many different ways. You know, it calls <coughs> attention. It addresses tender topics. It uh, it draws out responses from children to to solve problems. It's problem solving. I found a wonderful doll in Port Elizabeth once that had three different 
faces and you turn the knob and it starts to say, I mean, smiling and three different faces. But, and then the rest was with like an old rag doll. Yeah. And it looked like it's only a dog had been chewing on for a long, long time. It was just a disaster. Oh, shit. And I remember bringing it home and somebody saying, you're not going to bring that in the house, are you? <laughs> but they would never know it now, you know. I use it for when I talk about feelings, you know. I stood before a sick woman one day, and that night my heart said to me, I can do things like that. I can spin skies. I can be woven into love that can bring warmth to people. I can be wings that lift. And I can travel on my thousand feet throughout the earth, my sacks filled with the sacred. And I replied to my heart, dear, you can really do all those things? Mm -hmm. And it just nodded yes in silence. And so we began. Um, you will tell your own story, you will alter it any way you want, you will express your passions, you will create an image that speaks to you and of you, and um, share uh, how you're going to use your doll. Um, and remember that there is no right or wrong way to create an image. You can't make a mistake, it's not possible. Um, when making your doll, ask yourself these questions. What story do I want to tell? What message do I wish to teach? What is the purpose of my doll, or what, what purpose will my doll serve? And um, remember that the doll process nurtures awareness of the authentic self and probes the inner being. The doll is the conduit for building the self so select the passion of yours and create an image that is unique to you. A humble means gift. Humble um, story starts eight years ago. Um, when, his, when his mom was diagnosed with HIV. Um, she was very poor. And she couldn't, she couldn't take care of him. She did a very brave thing. She went to child welfare and they gave her some options. They asked her if she would uh, give them up for adoption. And she thought about it for a very long time and, and then made the decision to give him up for adoption because some way, some childless couple would have the opportunity to love and go. And that's just what happened. Um, but it took him for six long months to get adopted because they weren't sure if he was their child. My name is Emma. I have a friend with the name of John. John is a very special friend of mine. We go to the same school and we are in the same class. But you know what? A few months ago, my daddy came home very sad. I couldn't understand why he was so sad and unhappy. Being a seven-year-old child, you're not supposed to know all the things adults do. Because that is what my mother tells me. A child mustn't share secrets and then I thought to myself but why is daddy so unhappy me and mommy went to the shop one day and then I asked her whether she could buy me some writing pencils and she said but Emma I don't have money and I asked mommy no why don't you have money but we are here at the shop. Now I don't understand. 
mommy said to me, Emma, listen very carefully. You know, one day daddy came home and he said that he doesn't have a job anymore. So we don't have enough money to buy you the things that you really want. Mommy can only buy the necessary and the necessities for the house. I want to say thank you for all of you that give me a dog and I'm so very happy and I love my dog and her name is Anna. I love my dog. My, my dog just like my mommy. Basically, I think that hope can help to mend broken hearts, so that's why there's a broken heart here. And um, also, the, these are the things that um, I think that she represents is what um, we should all hope for everyone in the world. Um, on these little Tibetan prayer flags, so there's love and peace, happiness, hope, Humanity, wonder, and by wonder I mean wonder at just everything around us. We have the oh. most beautiful city and country and, and world. So, um, joy, friendship, knowledge, and family. Stella. Stella means star. Mm -hmm. I am beautiful. Mm -hmm. And Stella got a little story. Um, you know, we all make choices in life and we all go through something and we all come from something. And many times we forget who we are, who our family are around us, and we live two busy, busy lives. And Stella was a very busy woman, forever just busy with the work, rushing off with the children, and sometimes not realizing, putting all the attention to the other little things. For a child is a blessing and need to be loved, and charity begins at home to make the circle bigger. I it just came to my knowledge and to my realization we need to be feel, we need to be free we need to have joy we need to have to love we need to have peace we need to we are special we are unique in our own way we must be open we are beautiful we are creative worthy we must be forgiving, we must trust, and we must breathe the air and believe in ourselves. In a circle we are equal, I'll raise the song up a little bit. In a circle we are equal, no one is excluded, no one is excluded. We look in each other's eyes, we look in each other's eyes. such a messenger of hope, such a conduit of, of, of all learning, really. Mm -hmm. And um, you now have those tools, and you'll go forth and do all this. So that's, mm -hmm. that's wonderful, and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 